Good morning guys, um, so I'm now like six days into the summer shred and I thought I'd give you a little update on how everything's going. Um, my weight is down 0.8 of a kilogram, so I've gone from like 56.1 kg to 55.3, um, which is good in like six days. That's kind of the, um, the number that I was kind of aiming for to lose like 0.8 of a kilogram per week. And that will bring me to where I want to be in like eight weeks time if I keep going at that rate. So I've been currently consuming like 1,000, about 900 to 2,000 calories a day. Um, and that obviously does put me in a calorie deficit because I think before the cut, I wasn't tracking, but when I did track like the odd day, it was more like 2,000 or 500 calories a day. Um, so it's a good like five, I would have thought 500, 600 um, calorie deficit. And I'm just gonna kind of take it steady over the next couple of weeks. I'll reduce my calories a little bit tomorrow, Monday. Um, so just probably by another 100 calories, just because my body have adapted to the calorie deficit. Um, and so I'll be aiming more at like 1,000, kind of seven, 800. Um, max 1,900 and yeah hopefully it will just continue to obviously decrease um I felt a little bit hungry at the beginning of the week just because obviously I was in that calorie deficit which I'm not used to being in but now I've kind of adapted to it um so I'm fine and I'm just going to continue going with that really um I haven't filmed as much as I would like to film I've been really bad <laughs> because I always forget to film basically. I make a meal and I've completely forgotten. Um, and I'm obviously quite busy filming my series and stuff. So that always has taken priority um, and filming like stuff for clients. So this week I will actually be a bit better at filming um, just so I can give you a bit more like guidance and hopefully you know you can follow along how I'm getting on as well. But that's pretty much it, so I will try and film what I'm eating today, maybe. <laughs> I've just had like a black coffee, um, so I'm going to fast like this morning, and then probably break my fast like late morning, midday, because that's when I normally get hungry, I'm just not really hungry first thing in the morning. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. So it's currently like I think about 8am and I'm just going to make my morning, second morning coffee. Um, I normally have like either a black coffee or a latte and I'm going to actually have a latte because I have like an espresso frother thing um, and it makes life so good. Um, so it's so easy to use, like you just literally put the milk into this thing. And it comes out perfect every time. Mm. So it's probably, I don't know, like 100, maybe 150 mils. And then press the Nespresso. This will start coming out. Um, and then I'm just going to froth this at the same time. So you just press that. And that kind of like froths around. It's very exciting. Um, well, this is going to come out any minute now. It will come out. <laughs> but look how cool this is. I don't even know if you can see that, but it literally is like well done. <laughs> mm. I actually just love the ritual of making it, even though I didn't really make it. Um, so I've got too much. Oh my god, it smells so good as well. Mm. <sighs> this is so mega. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to power for a bit more work. But I was going to explain a little bit about um, my approach to, you know, the cut. And basically, the best way is, well, the first most important thing is to be in a calorie deficit. Um, so obviously being well, consuming like 1,800 to 2,000 calories will mean I'm in a calorie deficit of like probably about five, 600 calories at the moment. Um, oh my God, look, look how good that is. Okay, I'm just gonna actually just pour this in and then carry on talking. So you guys can see. 
and then the fresh fruit bit comes. And then I always have to get a little spoon because there's still froth in there. <laughs> I guess not one but um, I don't know if that's the saying but That is the finished, finished article. And I can honestly tell you that tastes at least as good as coffee shop coffee. That is very, very good. So Nespresso, thank you very much. Um, in this quarantine isolation, you have made my life a lot better. Um, this is not a sponsored ad, by the way. <laughs> a sponsored ad to sponsor video. Anyway, I was saying, um, with my approach to food, I basically consume things in moderation and in a cut I try and add my protein and take a little bit so I aim to get like 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal unless like it's a say a low calorie snack like I might have popcorn later um and that probably won't <laughs> well that definitely won't um have 20 grams of protein in it but yeah I basically just like spread my meals out I do generally tend to have like slightly larger meals um and less snacks just because I'm not like a massive snacker um, I'm not like a really big sweet person so if it's a snack it might be like some to peanut butter and toast or some popcorn or like a latte um, I mean that's not a massive snack it's more a drink but still it's got like 100 calories in so obviously it's worth um, tracking that and yeah I will film like a little bit of what I'm eating later um, but generally like this week I've had things like chicken with veg um, which is quite a standard true gnome rice which I'll probably have today um, toast and eggs which I'll probably have today <laughs> um, what else have I had like rice and beans um, yeah I mean they're pretty kind of standard things oats um, and whey I have quite a lot protein pancakes and I might make them today and yeah just generally trying to get 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal um, and then may most important thing is obviously staying within that calorie deficit um, and that will enable you to lose weight but it is a massive misconception like people obviously try all these fad diets and the only reason they ever work again is because you're in a calorie deficit like fair enough if you've got an allergy towards say gluten or dairy then obviously don't have that because that's going to make you feel really rubbish but if not try and have everything in moderation the only thing i'd say is maybe cut out sugar or um try and at least reduce like the refined sugar you're having because that can actually set off like sugar cravings um spike insulin and make you feel more hungry so then you're more likely to obviously binge on or not binge but you know eat more than um your calorie intake so that that's kind of like my general principle everything in moderation um healthy balanced diet you know try and get in 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal um veg i don't really tend to have too much fruit um just again because i'm not like a massive sweet person but you know there's nothing wrong with having fruit if you want it and yeah i'm just gonna enjoy my coffee I like 9am um, and I'm just going to make my first meal of the day so I've got this co-op bread it's actually quite nice bread to be honest um yeah I mean we're fairly limited in terms of what we can have in the UK just because like social distancing and like getting the supermarkets and then queues um and yeah so it's a bit of a dire situation but i'm sure it is pretty much in every country at the moment so i'm just gonna toast that um and i like my bread oh, that's what i'm turned on like really well tasted <laughs> like i hate it when it's not very well tasted and then i'm going to have that with eggs so yeah those were like the only eggs I could actually get in the supermarket so I was actually quite lucky I could even get some and then just butter as well on the bread 
and that is gonna be my meal one so I'll show you guys when it is made. So this toast did get really tasted. <laughs> it's slightly thinner than the toast that I've been used to um, and I forgot how. Hmm. Comment below um, what you think about how toast that toast is and whether you would eat that because to me that's like almost perfect. It's maybe a tiny weeny bit too tasted but um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. <laughs> so I like to leave this toast so it's almost cool before I spread the butter. But because this obviously is quite hard butter, um, it's still good that it's like a little bit warm and I'll probably have like, I don't know how much it'll end up, probably about 10 grams roughly. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is I am tracking obviously my macros. So I'll enter that into my fitness pal. And I have like quite a good idea in terms of quantities of things. Um, so obviously this is two slices of toast, about 10 grams of butter, and then, yeah, that's what I'll trap. And obviously butter is high in fat and high in calories, but I prefer the taste of it um, to other spreads. And I don't have obviously very much, as you can see. I spread it quite thinly. Um, nice salted butter, that'll do. And then I'm making it into soldiers because <laughs> I'm like a little child and I love like dippy eggs or eggs and soldiers, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it is, it is like childhood fun. Yeah, and so that is meal number one. Okay, there's not a lot of veg obviously on there, but I'll have that later. And let's just check to see if the egg is perfect. So I put it in for just over five minutes. And normally, oh, 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 let's see. Let's stick this in to the surface. <gasps> yes. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just going to enjoy that. <laughs> so I literally just come back from a walk and I've decided I'm gonna make some protein pancakes because I love protein pancakes. So at the moment I've got like this gold standard chocolate away um, because it always has to be chocolate with me um, and I'm gonna top it with banana and berries and then peanut butter um, because that is literally like a dreamy combo. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make that. So what I usually do, I might not use as much egg as I usually do, because obviously egg is a limited commodity at the moment, um, is I will put a bit more protein powder instead. I do one. with berries, chop them with banana, get the berries out of the freezer because I always get like frozen berries, put the berries into the microwave and then give them a little mash and then we make the peanut butter because unfortunately it's not proper peanut butter. This is like the saddest thing. I thought this was actually going to be quite good. I'll show you guys. Um, so I got this powdered. I don't know if anyone's ever used it. I would not recommend it. Get normal peanut butter but that's what I have. So I'm going to use this powdered peanut butter chocolate flavour because chocolate is life. Um, I've only got two that might have got one, which isn't really open. So that, yeah, that's exactly the same. Um, so I'm literally just going to put this into a cup. Um, let's get that on. So to make this, you literally just put a heaped, I'll probably put quite a big heaped tablespoon in, tablespoon, teaspoon in. Um, and then you can either make it with water, or it seems I've got milk here. Actually, now I put a bit of water in with that. You really don't need a lot of water. Just a little bit, and that makes it quite liquid. So obviously, the thicker you want it, the less water you put in, and that's the kind of texture. So it is quite like peanut butter, to be honest. 
um, and the pancake is nearly ready to flip. So I haven't been quite as efficient as usual just because I've been talking when I've been making this. So let's see, you can have a little look at that. And then, so it's getting nice and bubbled, as you can see, and it's perfect to flip, just like that. To load up what you do is first of all you put a bit of the peanut butter on. This actually could be a bit runnier, so I might make it a bit runnier for the next ones. Because you want it to be spreadable. Yeah, so a bit runnier than that, that's fine. And then you put the banana, so you chop the banana, just little bits, circle that. My other pancake is probably ready. And then you put the berry. Like I crushed these berries because I like them crushed. And then you get ready for the next pancake, which is ready. <laughs> like so. It's a bit different that size. And then yeah, you do the same for obviously all of them, then I'm going to show you the finished product. Guys, this is it. Mm. I have to say, I think it looks very good. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I can give you the recipe if you're interested in knowing. Um, yeah, it tastes really, really good. Yeah, so I've just cut it open. Mm. And now I'm going to eat it, because it's just too good to... Keep looking up. <laughs> so for my next meal, I've got this, which is actually, I don't normally just have these kind of packaged things, but it would look quite nice in the supermarket. And then I thought I'd have some peas with it. So it's ultimate black dial. And the macros are quite good. There's like 17 grams of protein within that, and I've had the whole pack, and then I've got peas, so that probably takes it up to just over 20 grams um, of protein. So I'm going to enjoy that now. And my last meal of the day is popcorn. Oh, my hair looks really, really lovely, and it's a bit of a wash. Um, yeah, and that basically <laughs> includes day of the life and eating on a summer shred oh wow <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel